Hej. That's my intro message, just hi. Okay, good. We got the intros out of the way. Present. No, uh, welcome to the stream. It's a short stream because um, we're doing, Hootie and I are going to be doing the randomizer uh, race in two and a half hours. So I'm going to do some Animal Crossing just to get my stuff done. And also because I'm probably not going to be streaming this tomorrow. And so let's take a look at uh, Red. I think Red's going to be here. Yeah, get to see some forgeries in Red's art. But yeah, uh, welcome once again. I'll direct you to the right place for the randomizer stream a little bit later. And, uh, Vin, how are you today? I'm okay. Uh... Yeah, I'm okay. Vinny, uh, did you listen to the new King Gizzard album today? No, not yet. I will. Hello there, right now in Hoor Island, it's 5.33pm, April 24th. Today's announcements. Recently there have been reports of a suspicious character visiting the islands in the area. Apparently this visitor has been selling works of art sourced from unknown origins. No one who has come into contact with this individual has been harmed, but please be careful out there. That's all for now. Um, I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Uh, is Red a fox? Chat? Red fox? It, it's a kitsune? What, what, what's the difference? Alright, I'm still a twat bunny. Uh, thanks, Nari, for that. Were you wearing your clothes backwards the other day, or were you walking backwards? Either way, it was real neat, man. Wow, Egbert. Kitsune are fox yukai. Okay, I know exactly what all of that means. There's no difference. Kitsune is Japanese for fox. Okay, so there's a dude named Red Fox. I'm sure many of you are aware of that. Which, of course, sounds a lot like Red Vox, which we actually, on some people's stereo systems, I don't know why this happens, but the picture of the band, like, the band image for our albums is Red Fox. So it's just a weird... It's just a weird thing that happens. Okay, I don't want to be a bunny anymore. Uh, I'm role-playing as my favorite, um... Who, where's my favorite bunny, Zipper? Hopefully in jail still. Uh... Just leave him there. Okay, I'm gonna go... Today's my, my, uh, frog shirt day. How many animal shirts do I have? I'm, I'm gonna have as many shirts as Brett. If you notice in Flight of the Concords, every time you see- just about every time you see Brett, he's wearing an animal shirt. And Jermaine is always wearing denim of some kind. Fence. Okay. Alright, I'm ready for my daily activities. Trials of Mana when? No rush. Again, I'm still waiting to hear back from Square. I talked about it. I, I don't wish to comply with their bizarre guidelines for streaming their game. So I, I emailed um, the dude that sent me the key. Wow, cool. Okay. We're, we're in vibrate mode. Um, I emailed the person that sent me the key. I said, thank you so much, but is there a way I can return this key and just buy the game on my own? I have not heard back from them. 
What are they asking you to do? Uh, I mentioned it during yesterday's stream. But it's just a lot of stuff, and I don't know how flexible they are with that stuff, but... Um... I know Square is very strict with their free keys and, and stuff. Which is the only company that gives away free keys that I'm aware of that is that strict. I talked about it during, um... RimWorld and also, I think, Animal Crossing yesterday, and also Final Fantasy VII, so I talked about it a lot already. But, um, until I hear back from that person... I might just wait. I'm, there's no shortage of games to stream. I also have Cloudpunk. What what game? Have you have any had, have you ever had any interest in Persona Five? That's the um, that's the new Undertale. In terms of requests. That's how many times I get that request. It's a lot. It's a lot. Not really. Um, I don't mean to be dismissive of it, because I'm sure it's a wonderful game. It has great music, but I'm just not interested in playing it or streaming it. Well, at least we got some nice 5 p.m. music. Oh, we're starting early with the trees, chat. Have you seen red yet? No, we're gonna do that now. I have to go over to Meat Beach. There he is. I'm actually kind of shocked that this beach is being utilized in some way. The ship's kind of sketchy looking. I shouldn't board without asking. What's that? What's that mean? Oh, he's on the island. He's not. Oh, okay. Someone said they built a ramp to the secret beach. I thought you could only build a ramp facing. Four, four way, forward ways. No. Or and sideways. Oh. I know. I heard this red guy's pretty sketchy. All non-diagonal directions are valid. Well, how do you think diagonal directions feel about that statement? You can build diagonal bridges. Why not diagonal ramps? Mate. Yeah, I mean, look at the paper tigers. They're diagonal. And they look great up there until I build a ramp to get up there, which I'll probably do today. Alright, so I got lucky with that first furniture item. Let's see, maybe I won't have to shake trees for the next 25 minutes. Hey, whatever, you know, shaking trees is, is boring. Sometimes you get good furniture, but I'll tell you what, at least you get a tour of your island while you're doing it. And if anything, you could find some dinosaur fossils. No, it's only 20 minutes. It's fine. It's please. 20 minutes. Organize your trees. Stop with the organize your trees stuff. That would take a year. That would take a full human year. Uh. You see how many goddamn trees I have on this island? Did you, did you lose this, Felicia? What's your name, <laughs> Whitney? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, I'm sorry, this doesn't belong to me. Judging by the design, I'd say it looks more like Jacques' kind of thing. Wait. Uh, do you want a wasp? It's the same thing every day for a month. Over a month now. Same thing every day. Mother of Pearl, a wasp. Here, have a wasp. This fine creature will make a lovely pet. Can't let you get away from here. Empty-handed. Here, take a cardigan shirt combo. Mm. I wouldn't wear toothpaste colored cardigans in real life. But this is Animal Crossing, so... Would you wear a frog tee in real life? If the frog looked epic, I might consider it. <laughs> Yeah, if the frog had, like, epic battle scars, or was, like, the Joker, and it said, Why so serious, plus I'm damaged across its forehead. And it had, like, a, a gamer headset, was sitting in a DX racer chair. Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably wear the frog shirt. It'd have to be, like, you know how, like, some of those shirts are, like, scratched with ink? It's, like, ink splatter for extra epic effect. It's, like, gold ink splatter. Hello, Celia. Great to see you, Vine Feathers. Uh, what's going on? Nice to see your smile. Having fun, Feathers? Oh, that was nice. How's your bug catching going? I saw that you were carrying a net, so I guess I just assumed you were... That was what you were up to, Feathers. But maybe you just like carrying a net around everywhere you go. I didn't mean to call you out on it. Oh, what an extraordinary wasp. What a great specimen. Thanks for finding this for me. I love it. I have something here for you. It's called a comedian's outfit, because you are a fucking comedian, aren't you? You're a joker. The king of the jesters, huh? In the courtyard of the king! Wow, Celia just called me the fuck out. Wow. Someone in chat tried to write funny Linguini man, but they spelled it Lunguini. Garbage can. I got a comedian's outfit and a garbage can. This game knows me really well. Oops. Double called out. Boy, this is, um, riveting gameplay here on, on this here stream. I mean, I'm, I'm just always hoping I'll find gold. 
can't believe it. I was on Vinny's stream the other day, and he was hitting a rock with a shovel. It was insane. I know. I couldn't believe it either. Jack Hughes. Did you drop this lost item pouch of I don't know what? It's a miracle you found it. What would Jock have in his little pouch? That's definitely my bag. I, I don't know, I kind of have an idea of what Jock would have in there. You're the best, so I'm gonna give you the best reward I can think of. I'm talking the Jack signature reward. A baguette. Casual kimono. Oh, thanks, Jock. Uh, I was thinking it would have been something good for Earth Day. That would have been in there. That he got in the Wendy's bathroom. Some oregano, some dirt, a couple of seeds. Hello there. Oh, it is a little bit Kenobi-ish. Chat, did you know that Obi-Wan, if you say it really quickly, Obi-Wan, Ob it sounds like Old Ben. Wan. Old Ben Kenobi. Did you also know that eggs come out of coconut trees? If you just hit them enough, you get the eggs. Vinny, no one cares about your nerd facts. Just shake the, tr the trees. Fix the sink. <sighs> Alright, chat. Yeah, I read that fact on the back of a receipt. George Lucas was at a gas station I was at. Oh, wait, who was that? Was that George Lucas? Yeah, he signed a Luke Skywalker card. And then, you know, paid for all of his gas like that. Was it just some... ...weird old guy with a fucking beard? I think it was just some weird guy with a beard. No, it wasn't George Lucas, never mind. It was James Cameron. My other favorite director, who says outrageous things, like, I'm beginning to watch this movie and then I see things I recognize. Wait, oh yeah, I have to craft a shovel. I lost my, my trusty shovel. Vinny, fix that fence, please. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I should. should do that. Well, I need to buy more fence, for one. I need to probably move this, so I'm gonna move that. Just put a giant fucking swimming pool in my pocket, no problem. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this swimming pool. I've seen people make, like, little areas. Like, the way people play this game and customize their island is just mind-blowing. But I've seen people, like, make a whole little pool area. Still haven't seen red.
football pants. <laughs> oh, now we're talking. This comedian only makes jokes about football season. Which is usually Bill Burr's podcast, but... He's got a lot of other interests, too. Like, fucking John Bonham! Anyone else try that RTX... ...voice, um... ...thing? Where you put your pipe your mic through it? That's not a euphemism. It's- you- you pipe your mic through it, and then, um, it eliminates all background noise using your RTX card. Yeah, it's- it's tr it, good. It's good. Let me see, do I have that on right now? It seems like I have it on. Chat, we're gonna do a little experiment. Alright, hang on a second now. Uh... Tell me if you can hear me hitting my desk. Can you hear this, chat, while I'm talking? I don't know if you can, but can you? You can. Oh. Well. Alright, so you heard that then, right? Now. Check this out. I'm gonna pipe my... Not my microphone. I'm gonna pipe it through the RTX thing, which is right here, and now I'm gonna try it. You can still hear me, right, chat? Okay, check this out. Can you hear this? Can you hear these banging noises now? Is it bad? A little bit, right? Barely? Yeah. Okay, well, check this out. Um, so, sometimes people complain that they can hear a fan on my microphone, or other people's. So, I'm gonna do one more test, because this is, I think this is really cool, actually. It, it does a pretty good job. So you can, you can hear this noise while I'm talking, chat. This is my heater, but it has a fan mode, so right now fan mode's on. Yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna turn on RTX microphone thing, NVIDIA RTX voice, it's called. Here. Can you hear it now? It's still on. A little bit? Still a little bit? Okay. Only a little bit when you talk. Okay, but- but- but can you hear me bang on my table? It's distorted you a bit? Oh no, I'm distorted. Let's see. You can still hear me, right, chat? Okay, check this out. Can you hear this? Ah. Uh. Can you hear these banging noises now? Is it bad? Is it bad? Is it bad? Is it bad? Check this out. Can you hear this? Can you hear these banging noises now? It's- you know what? It's not- it's distorted. But if you're like, trying to stream, and you have like people banging on pots and pans, or like ones outside your window using a jackhammer, That's not too bad. Vinny, end this bit. This isn't a bit. This is real life, chat. I was doing live experiments. Adjust the filter amount. Oh, you can do that. I was watching the clip. Please watch the clip. I was. Wait, what are you, what are you talking about? Oh, no, I'm distorted. You still hear me, right, chat? Okay. <laughs> right, it was on, the clip was at 25% speed. That's why that sounded like that. I had it on 25% speed from the last time I viewed a clip and slowed it down. The distortion was there the first time, but when I played it back just now, it wasn't- it- it was- that was... It's a good bit, right? Um, it, it, Vinny, it's a bit. Vinny, it's not a bit. Um, welcome to my place. Glad you showed up. Too full of snacks to go outside. Hey, Drake, do you want a fresh new wasp? Is it really a wasp? Did you catch it yourself? 
can't wait tr to introduce her to the other bugs in my house. But not the bugs in the wall. The floor bugs are fine, but the wall bugs are being jerks. Vinny, couldn't you use a plug-in that subtracts the ambient noise profile... <laughs> excuse me, of your room? That's what I have on now. I don't have the RTX thing on now. Heard you were shaking all the trees in the island yesterday. Isn't that real dangerous? I've tried to make the wasp buddies before, and they did not dig me shaking their tree, Quacko. Do you find the dialogue gets stale, a little stale very fast? Yes, I agree. It does. Um, yeah, no, I already have ambient noise reduction on my, um, interface thing, and, uh, it's- it's good. It works. I guess the RTX thing is for more extreme cases. Like I said, if you have, like, really loud noises, like, right next to your microphone, it's actually a decent solution. It's not perfect, but it's kind of impressive. Like, I saw a couple examples online before I downloaded it myself. I was like, alright, that's alright. That's pretty good. I might not use it, but it's there. Like I said, jackhammers outside your window. That might be the only use I can think of. Someone said, why can't I see animated emotes? Download better Twitch TV. Uh, extension. Vinny Crust. We got Crust now? Oh no. Robo Vinny is back. It's Omega Crust. Oh no. I fuck around with microphone stuff and this is what happens. Mega Crust? Mega Crust. Mega Crust. Mega Crust. Mega Crust. 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 Vinny, no offense, but why are you the only streamer who has this problem? Uh, have you watched every streamer? Is my question to you, chat member. All of them. That said, I don't know of anyone else that has this problem personally, so you're not entirely wrong. I can tell you that it has a lot to do with my USB... ...stuff. In my computer. I don't know what that means entirely, but... Yeah, it's all USB stuff. Can you order a new USB port? Well, it's in the back of the computer. You know, it's just USB competing for attention. Vinny Red might be hiding hiding behind a tree. You can get a USB PCIe card and give it dedicated lanes. That would actually kind of probably help. Evening, you know. Vinny, it might be time to get a new setup from Desert. Time to go pro with PCIe sound cards. I have a PCIe sound card. <laughs> Don't ever stand on the beach, look out at the other islands, and wonder what life's like out there, you know. You again. You know, did you forget something last time? Pro gardening tip, some shrubs have flowers on them that'll only bloom in, cer bloom in certain seasons, you know. That means you could plant, like, a summer garden and winter garden and fall garden. Pretty rad, huh? And introducing to the ring, Diva the Face Frog! Uh... Crust again. I just restarted the, the thing. Maybe me switching microphone inputs had something to do with it. Still? 
worse now. Jesus. <laughs> check, check. Oh, uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow good. good. Here, let, Here, let, let, me, let, me, let me unplug, unplug, my, unplug my graphics. graphics. Here we go. Here we go. See? See? Good. Good. Live, Live gamer, gamer extreme, extreme removed. removed. I was listening to myself. That's why I was echoing. I wanted to make sure what it sounded like. I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty clear where the problem is mostly coming from. I think, if anything, I need a new video card, as I've said a hundred times, but I've always, I've been able to fix it for like a week or two at a time. Vinny, I thought you just bought a new GPU. It's my capture card, is what I meant. It seems like the USB isn't carrying enough bandwidth, possibly. You need a PCIe USB card, and that would fix it all. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Nari about that. Nari seems to know what's going on. So I'm gonna try to figure out what that means, and then I'm gonna... Uh, I'll upgrade appropriately. And then, you know, worst case scenario... I just get a new internal um, capture card, which I had for years. I had an internal. It was good. This is the best capture card I've ever owned, which sucks that it's doing this now because it still works great. I love it. Fine. Do you ever just feel like crying? You're going to hit me with that right now? Did you not see my Final Fantasy stream? Egbert? I'm not crying. I'm not crying. It's just been raining. On my face. Sure you do. Everyone feels sad sometimes. When you feel like you need to cry, don't hold back. Just use your reactions, just like this. Look, I'm so sad. If you need to turn on the waterworks, and who doesn't sometimes, use sorrow and let it all out. Just keep going. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, we're not... Try to stop it just in time, so John Full Sauce doesn't have to do a ton of work. Someone said they saw Red. I didn't see him. Oh, there he is. Hey, you—you you very elusive. You're tricky, Trixie. You're from around here. My name is Red. I work in sales. You are? Fine. What a great name. Intelligent, strong. I can already tell we're gonna be pals. No, not pals. Family. Fine. It's a pleasure to meet you. Fine. Hey, I hope you don't mind me being forward, but you look to me like someone who's got an eye for art. Don't be shocked. I've got a keen instinct for these things. Speaking of instinct, I just had this feeling, so I brought a famous painting with me. Yeah, I know, I know. What a crazy coincidence. It's like fate. Well, I want to sell to you, and only you, because you're family, and you're going to get a giveaway price. How does, uh, 498,000 bells grab you? That's a bargain. What do you say? I, I say no. Nay! Come on now, you're never gonna find a better price than- Ah. But that was fate talking, right? Reminding me, your family, I mean, you're practically my cousin. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you my family exclusive patent pending cousin's discount. For only 400, 5, 4,980 bells. You'll be the proud owner of your very own famous painting. It's my club cousin. Sold. Ah, you're not gonna regret this. Just- Take those bells from you. I knew you had an eye for art. It's like it was meant to be. Hope we can do this again, cousin.
Yeah, that dude's very trustworthy. I trust him. He called me his cousin. I've met him. I met him for 35 seconds. And I'm already family. From Judy. The message in a bottle. It's a pawn stone. Bidet. <laughs> wow, these, these, uh... These gifts are really trying to say something. I'm gonna have enough bidets to make my own bidet room. I got a real good deal on an old fishing trawler a while back. I bet it'd make a good showroom. That looks real. How did Red get the real Mona Lisa? Jesus. Don't worry about it, cousin. You're right. I should stop wondering about such things. She looks angrier in the fake one. I'll be honest, I like the fake ones better than the real ones. Hi, Blazers. Welcome to Horror Island Museum. Um, first I want to assess fossils and stuff. Five fossils? More than one. Indeed, our museum already has fossils such as this. But no, I must exercise restraint. I found a piece of art. Who is that so? What manner of art will you be showing me? I'm a, all a flutter. Ooh, I say hoot! That is most surely a famous painting. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon the real thing, but there it is, very much a famous painting. Now, if you were to donate this famous painting, your generosity would enable us to add an art exhibit to our beloved museum. What say you? Might I give this work of art a new home? Jolly good. Hoot hoot hooray. Splendid news indeed. Can't really thank you enough. It pleases me greatly to say that I will now be able to apply for an expansion to the museum. Hmm. So much to do. I must prepare for construction immediately. Ah, Vine, a thousand thanks indeed. Me and uh, Blathers are going to be doing a, a Link to the Past randomizer race in about two hours. But don't worry, I'll be advertising that a little bit further. A little while from now. You know, I didn't get the last tree. Again, Jack? Again, it takes like, um, like 0.5 seconds, or no, like less than, like, like 0.3 seconds 
from when you press the button to when the instrument activates. I wish it was 100% instantaneous, but it makes it hard to play along with Jack. A little bit of latency. Poor, poor Jack, I can't give him the proper singing. Now, face north. Welcome to Nook's Crane. I like how um, Humphrey is still wearing the baby outfit, probably just despite my existence. Magic kit. Definitely. No Final Fantasy VII tonight? No. No, tonight is, I think, just the randomizer race. After that, I might work on a, a tune, but uh, I don't think I'll be doing uh, anything other than randomizer tonight. My crust. It's funny because there was no crust until I switched over to the RTX thing. Very interesting. Oh, I turned it off. I even closed the application. A diner counter chair. I think I used to have one of these ages ago. Alright, we'll get out of the way. I need it. You snooze, you lose, Hamphrey. I still can't believe how well that song fits. Like, it's the perfect tempo. Sure, it's in the wrong key, but it sounds fantastic. I'm, I'm really happy. Not only did I manage to find a song that I wanted for Animal Crossing, but one that actually works really well. And that I got to make myself, too. I made this. Digital scale. What the fuck does this cost so much money for? Holy shit. What are the turnips? I have no turnips. Oh, okay, never mind. Stone stool and a frying pan. Oh, two hot items. Hot items. Oh god, is that a bunny nose that I just got yesterday? Oh hey, I was hoping you'd come by today. I made new pattern fabric for you to try out in your custom furniture. I don't know how much furniture you customize, but I hope this helps. Ninja hood. Naruto? I could be Naruto, man. Skeleton hood! What? One or the other? Oh, well, these are cat noses.
Well, I have to get the skeleton hood. Now I'm a business skeleton on my way to work. I am Sand. Sand Skeleton, that's me. From the hit game... From the hit game... Cave Story. I know it's gonna be one of these. I know what it is. Ch chat, it, it can't not be this next tree. It's this one. Man, one day it's gonna be that one. One day. Where's Scoot? Probably at the museum. Alright, time to hoard. That's what the Hoor Island is actually all about. It's not about what you think it is. It's not even really Dutch, it's just about, you know, hoarding. I wanted to make one of those pond stones. Enter counter chair, coffee grinder, the day, put that upstairs, magic kit. A lot of garbage cans. Pretty cool. And you should really buy that poster from the Nook store to get a lot of progress on the store upgrade. There is only one store upgrade. That, that was the upgrade. It's okay, we all, you know, my brain doesn't, it calcifies sometimes. I understand. I still haven't done anything with the surveillance cameras. Watch out, Snakey! Snakey, the surveillance cameras! how the bunny day stuff is all the way at the bottom. Ironwood dresser. That's really nice furniture. Gonna have to make some ironwood if I ever find the motivation to actually make a legit room and not a com comedic effect room. K 
JK Ryder, please, no. You can customize the ironwood as well. Vinny, did you hear about Elijah Wood playing Animal Crossing? Yep. Mr. Woods. I mean, a lot of celebrities are talking about Animal Crossing right now, so I'm not really shocked that Elijah's playing it. Um, he was very polite. I saw the, you know... I, I guess no one else has anything to do at the moment, so everyone's talking about the Elijah Wood thing. And, uh, he seemed like he was very polite and just like a chill dude. So what, he's Frodo. And, um, he wore the magical bling-bling. Hell yeah. Now you can bidet. Or you can but don't. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. Vinny, never utter those words again. I that was literally from a Flight of the Concord song. Frodo, don't wear the ring. I know it's very tempting. Or you mean but don't. How about but don't they? I like how my character smiles as he looks at the camera when entering Scoot's house. So here we are again, huh, Scoot? Just the Scoot of us. Still listening to that song, huh, Scoot? He wouldn't look at me. You're here, Vine. Make yourself at home. He literally tried to leave the house yesterday. What's the latest? The way you shook those trees the other day was really impressive. Is that how you get such incredible triceps? Yeah. I shake trees every day. The, um, t-shirt I wear for my daily workout is like family. Do you know what makes me want to wear it every day? Do you, Vine? It's breathable mesh? Huh? Do you know your sportswear? That's what most folks would say, but... For me, breathability is just a secondary concern, Zipsu. What I want in a shirt is fabric that wicks my sweat in a way that makes my muscles look even bigger. M muscles. Hey, uh, is it weight training time? Your Argyle vest is pretty sweet. Is that your victory outfit? You know what would go great with it? Some house slippers. Yeah, that style's really gonna bring out your muscles. What, my feet? No need to be shy. Hey, a waspu. Thanks, I'll be real careful with it. Did you know some bugs can lift several times their own body weight? Pajama dress. Scoot's really trying to tell me to go to bed. Actually, Scoot's kind of right. This, this actually does go really well with this outfit. It's all gray. 
Wow, Scoot, good job. Good call. I'm trying to build better workout routines for every day, but to do that, I need to get to know them better. All right, what can we talk about? Oh, 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 I know. What kind of TV shows do you like? You like jazz? I don't watch TV. Really? Hey, that's cool. No TV just means more time for cardio, right? Scoot's like, please leave and go to sleep. Just, just leave me alone. Every day we have to zip zoom. Every day. We shoot the zip. We shoot the zoom. And I had, like, 30 days in a row until I screwed up. Another green floor light. Fuck. And another reminder of that time I broke the utility sink. Again, I'm not scratching my beard. That's Isabel watering her flowers. See, different noises. Here's the beard. Bad luck to kill a seabird! I was gonna call him Thomas, but I realized that's not his actual full name. want to show you guys something that someone sent me. Bad luck to kill a seabird. My name is uh, Tommy. Uh, Tommy. That's my name, yeah. I know you're fond of me, lobster! Is that fucking noise? Drunken in a Virginia fan. I see, mate. You're fond of me, lobster. <laughs> um, I'm going to do the red steel staircase. Which is not something that I, um... Well, I'm gonna have it go up to the, the bamboo area. No? So how about... What should go up to the bamboo area? Any thoughts, chat? Log? Brick? Ignore chat. No, I like- I like hearing chat suggestions. I do. It doesn't really fit, the red steel. Understandable. Log looks good. Natural. Natural cut log. You're fond of me, lobster! Say it! I know you're fond of me, lobster!
one zero two. You should play the first twenty seconds of that video. Oh, okay. I want a steak. I want a goddamn steak. I'm. If I had a steak, oh boy, oh, a rare, a bloody steak. If I, if I had a steak, if, if I had a steak, I would fuck it. And that's why you should watch the lighthouse if you haven't. No, that's not Harry Potter. That's not Harry Potter. That's, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Robert Potter. What was his name in Crinklebump? In, uh, in the actual Harry Potter movie. I think it was, uh, J uh J Jonathan Crinklebump. It was, um, C Cedric, pa what is his, Cedric Diggory. Crinklebump, right. Yeah, he was in Harry Potter, and then he became Twilight. Making vampires kind of not cool. Not his fault. And then he was, um... He hates Twilight. Yeah, I figured he wouldn't be a... I mean, honestly, the dude's got talent. He's gonna be the next Batman. Um, he was very good in The Lighthouse. Like, that dude's gonna... You know, he's gonna be around a while, I think. Uh, I really believe that he's gonna have quite a career. That crinkle bump. going on here? I'm not going to be able to get a ramp because the, the, hang on a minute, the, the ramp is two, right? It, it's two? Ah. Uh. Hootie's probably, like, you know, doing runs of Link to the Past, preparing his body as, as heavily as he can for this race. And here I am, fixing my cliff in Animal Crossing. I haven't played Link to the Past in, in well over a year. Expect... Expect awful. Hootie is preparing his body in various ways. And he'll... You know, and he's got a little bit of a handicap during the race, too, because he's gonna be, um, he has to get more crystals than I have to get. Chat. For the a Link to the Past rando race. So, I have to get less crystals, but something tells me Hootie's still gonna win. Because Hootie is very good at Link to the Past, and he knows his shit. And w there's also gonna be crowd control, which means that people can fuck with our, you know, our games.
Ought to. We're doomed. Finny, what is this? This is... I don't know what this is yet, but... Give me another 30 seconds. No. Um, give me another three minutes. And I'll have some semblance of, of something. You move the tiger over too much. Just temporary. Um, I saw online a good meme regarding Tiger King, which is that Joe Exotic is Steve Irwin's Wario. And it was like two similar pictures of them in similar poses. I was like, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. I see stuff like that, I'm like, man, I wish I was clever. I wish I was special. It's so fucking special. I'm a creep. I like when Radiohead does creep in in the late here it is. In the the later years of their career. <laughs> it's good. That's a really really good observation, isn't it? Um when Radiohead does creep and Tom is just like Trying to sing it somewhat earnestly, but also takes the piss out of it. The Edge. Not from you too. I mean, it's just a funny. It's a. It's a good teenage angst song. But when you're in your late forties singing, "I'm a creep, I'm a weirdo," I wish I had a perfect body and soul. And it's still their most popular song. You know, if you go on Spotify, "Creep" is still the song that is most played on Radiohead's page. And, um, most of the people that I know that only know a little bit of Radiohead really only know Creep. Maybe they've heard of Paranoid Android. Maybe if you played them Karma Police, they would know it. But they play it. I mean, they know people like it, so they're playing it again in their concerts. Ed O'Brien even did a tutorial on his, uh, his MySpace page, no, his YouTube, where he, he was teaching people how to do the chords of Creep. He did. Yeah, I think it's cool. Whatever, I mean, he's- they're doing it for the fans, they're not doing it for them. They know it makes people happy. It's not a- it- I don't think it's a bad song. I mean, when I first heard it, before I became, like, Radiohead obsessive. Um, I thought... I thought Creep was a... Was, was a good song. I liked it. I didn't know their other work. And then I ended up liking all their other stuff better, but... Creep is... Just not what kind of band they are <laughs> anymore. And that might be the only song they play off of Pablo Honey. Their first album. I think it's just that one. Chat, this will never work out. This- the symmetry of this island. Wait, unless it's good now. Hang on a second. Is this good? Uh, no, not really. It will? Well, look, look. Okay, so you got five. One, two, Three, four, five. These two are lined up. This is lined up. This isn't. I have to extend this. So do I then extend the other side? Take the middle bamboo out. I could do that. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Scrap it and start all over? Nah, man.
looks good. Tree, that tree needs to go. The lions are not properly aligned. They will be. They're tigers, by the way. How, you know... I don't know, man. They're tigers. go. Now it's good. Wait, these are... Yeah, those are good. So the, the tiger... Yeah, the tiger is a little bit... I want the tigers to, like, you know, overlook the visitors so that they, they see all. Nope. Nope. It's a good Beck song, Paper Tiger. So that's good. All right, now I need to uh, align the flowers and figure out what I'm going to do with this tree here. So I might, um, I'm going to dig up some trees, some bamboo, and then I'm going to fuck with the symmetry a little bit because it's still a little screwy. But I, I think I get, I got this. I think I figured this out. Um, I might actually even move some of these exotic flowers at some point too, because this could be a cool area to like build a little like observation area for further scoot surveillance put a pool or a pond up there a pond could be cool right so then we have to also Could put a satellite up there. No, I probably wouldn't do the satellite. I'd probably keep it as chill as possible up here. Pond seems nice. Maybe some seating arrangements. Maybe move move the flowers to their own dedicated spot. Excuse me. I had a duck in my throat. Speaking of Pond, what's your favorite Pond album? The weather, still, I think. Waiting around for... Uh, Man, it feels like space again is, is great. Uh, the weather is probably my favorite, followed slightly by Man, it feels like space again, followed slightly by Tasmania. I think Tasmania is a great... That's their newest album. It is a great record, but... 
some of the songs don't hit the same way, for me at least, um, the weather does. Do you have any new music you'd recommend? Just old bands, really. I mean, I'm always discovering new shit from Spotify, but I don't have anything that I'm listening to that's particularly brand new at the moment. I liked new Pearl Jam's new album, and I liked the new Strokes album. That's as much as I got right now. Otherwise, I'm just, because of all kinds of anxiety stuff, I'm listening to a lot of Pink Floyd and Radiohead and Queens of the Stone Age. Those are the bands that I can go to when, you know, I need a little pick-me-up. So, I wonder if I'm gonna do the thing with where this area is not just flowers anymore. Maybe I shouldn't plant them here anyway. It's just the flower symmetry's off. Yeah, I'm gonna start getting them out of here. I'm not gonna get all of them out of here, but I'll get a few out of here for now. I just have to find a new flower spot. Needs an extra row on the left side. No, it's good. Look, the two areas, I mean, forget about the flowers. Let's not worry about the flowers for now. The trees are good. The, um, cliffs look good. You know, the tigers are nice. Everything here seems to be fairly symmetrical, and when I turn this into, like, a pond area, it'll, it'll look even better. Someone says it hurts watch watching Vinny work on things. Chat member, please get in touch. I need you to reach out to me. Tell me how to do everything perfect on the first try. I need the secret. I, I need to know. Vinny, please plant the three flowers on the left side. The pain is too much. Now, I'm going to ask you, chat member, if you listened to the past five minutes of my stream. <laughs> because those flowers are getting out of there at some point soon. I'm getting them out of there. I have an extra bamboo tree now. So when Red appears subsequently, you can go inside of his, um... His, uh, dinghy. Yes, dinghy is the correct way to say it. It's it's that's just a boat. I don't know if it's more of an English thing, but a dinghy is is a boat. I know that from Carl Pilkington because his uncle had a dinghy that he lived in that had two TVs, one with sound, no video, one with video, no sound. I'll leave those flowers there for now. Um, maybe I'll just fill that whole side with flowers, but I think what I'm gonna do... Chat, what I will do up here is... I'm gonna line up... I could do this... Um, I have time before the race. I've got like an hour and ten minutes. I still gotta do some prep work, so I'm gonna stop the stream real soon. But...
No, I don't have to practice. I just need to get all the audio and all the stuff with crowd control set up. So what I could do is I could line the edges of this place with some flowers for now and see how that works out with, um... with whatever else I put in here. Yes. I'm Bri- Arf, arf, the doggy bounce. The doggy bounce. Arf, arf. Oh yeah, bushes could work up here too. Vinny, how do you strain your voice to make that sound? I don't know how to explain it. Um, I contract my muscles in the way required based on muscle memory to make strange noises, but I don't know how to explain it. I do have sometimes people reach out and ask, how do you make the funny noise? I, and I just... I, 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 I don't know. That's like, how do I do such a perfect Bruce Willis impression? You know, I don't, I don't know. I embody the essence of Willis. I just squint my eyes, and I picture myself having, like, a, a square jaw. You know? And I'm just like, ah. Otherwise, yeah, I have no answer to that query. I, I don't know. I mean, when it comes down to voices, it's just weird muscle contractions. And I guess I've been making weird noises. I was a weird kid. And now I'm a weird adult, so you have to figure, at some point, it just became a thing that I can do without thinking about it. Because your body remembers to the point where you don't even have to think about it. That's also how we get stuck in loops. Not, not good ones. Loops. Yeah, like fruit loops. Uh, and, and a story loopin at the end of my streams. some extra flowers now. But yeah, this area is at least kind of cool. I could probably put a path up here, put a little uh, pond, some benches. Like, when I see people making their islands, like all these little cool things on their islands where they just hang out and they like made it look amazing with like real people furniture. I'm like, man, how the fuck am I going to do that? I don't have that kind of talent. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Not very color coordinated. I just stuck here forever now. Oh. Well, they all kind of fit. Um, one thing that's kind of bothering me is this, but we can fix that. Still have one bamboo tree.
that's cool for now. And then whatever else goes here. I might have to move a couple more flowers, but... Maybe, uh... Like this kind of path. Put the pool there. I don't think the pool would be good up here. I don't like the pool up here. I like the idea of a pond. But we can leave that for now. Donkey looking at the pool. Yeah, that's a work in progress to be continued. work in poggers. Oh my gosh, fine, I should have read the instructions, whatever. Ugh. Oh, what's up, fine? Um, well, I'm making a log stool. I dreamt the idea when I fell asleep watching Maglev's in Love. Oh, it's the trains in love thing again. Maglev Mike took their relationship off the rails. <laughs> you already know how to make the log stool, yeah. Which is good, because I can use that up there. Helmet came from someone who's going to be very famous, probably very soon. Meanwhile, Scoot is the most famous villager. Now go, Vine, go help the world DIY. place must be real chill for you to come around so much. It's hard to stay so chill with so much on my plate, you know? I love baked salmon. I eat it for breakfast, morning snack, brunch, late morning snack, lunch, afternoon snack, 11 Z's, second breakfast, evening snack, dinner, late snack, snack night, bed night, snack night, bed snack, late night snack, dark time dinner, the spooky time snacks. I thought it was my favorite food, but somehow I'm getting tired of it. I don't understand. What if I start hating what I love? That's a real problem, Quacko. Tell me about it. Okay, I gotta go. Chat, I'm gonna fill you in on informations. If you want to watch the Link to the Past randomizer race, and you want to help donate to PCRF, you don't have to donate. It's appreciated, of course. It's going straight to uh, Pediatric Cancer Research Foundation. Um, this is the charity incentive from last year's charity stream. And um, we're going to be doing crowd control, which allows you to donate in order to, um, you know, fuck up the game or help us. And it goes directly to PCRF. Uh, Hootie will explain more. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, but if you want, you go to twitch.tv slash variety is hope. So go there. That's in one hour from now. Or is it vine sauce is hope? Oh God. Hang on a minute. I think we're going to be on variety is hope. Someone in chat said vine sauce is hope. Yeah, no, it's variety is hope. Yeah. Char linked it in chat a bunch. Sorry. Uh, so you want to, you want to go to twitch.tv slash variety is hope and uh, we'll be there in a little while I will host that channel from this channel so if you're here you'll still see it and I'll make a tweet and everything but you know it'll be fun link to the past is going to be um, 
I'm gonna fail miserably, I think. But who knows? Anything could happen. But yeah, chat over there, not here. And uh, it'll be it'll be a good time. So, you know, stick around in an hour. More streams. Thank you all for joining. I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all doing well. And, you know, as I say every night now, just take care of yourself and, you know, be good to each other and, and please um, stay healthy. But more than that, I appreciate you being so kind to me and the other streamers during this time. This music just inspires, like, inspirational words. I'm sorry, I have to do the thing. I can't help it. Alright, goodbye. I'll see you later, and I'll see you in an hour. Bye.